frequency clear. 99.7. It's one o'clock. Time for the Joy Business Report. Government advised to bridge the tax gap by investing in existing laws rather than increasing and introducing new taxes, which burdens a few. We'll hear from the president of the Chartered Institute of Taxation, Ghana. And Public Utilities Regulatory Commission hopeful a stable economy will ensure a reduction in electricity and water tariffs during the last quarter of this year. Later on the Joy Business Van, we'll tell you about JA24 Foods, which is fast becoming a major supplier of quality honey across the country. My name is Eli Kim Aku Kunkbe. Let's settle for details. The president of the Chartered Institute of Taxation, Ghana, George Quitia, has advised government to close the tax gap by investing in existing tax laws rather than introducing new levies. According to him, the introduction of new taxes and increases in levies without a corresponding rise in GDP is counterproductive. Mr. Quitia spoke on the Joy Business discussion themed Ghana's high taxes, the causes, and finding remedies. If you look at our total tax revenue, as I've mentioned, for the revised one for 2023, government is only looking at 108 billion, whilst you have a tax gap of about 55 to 70 billion. So obviously, if you really are a country that wants to invest and uh, make sure that uh, you roll in the right taxes, in my view, it's not about more taxes, but it's rather an investment into making sure that you close the tax gap. And if we are able to do so, for instance, uh, we should be able to double our tax revenues. Speaking on the same show, economists at the Institute of Statistical, Social and Economic Research, ESE, Professor Charles Aka said government must find a way of tasking the informal economy where much income is generated but unaccounted for. I did a small calculation by a barber. The barber I go to where I barber my hair. Yes. Yeah, and this barber has been there for more than 15 years since I've been living in Adelaide. Mm. More than 15 years. When I go there, haircut is 20 Ghana City. I ask him, how many people do you barber a day? He said, at least 10 people. On Saturdays and Sundays, he gets as much as 30 people coming to barber. Okay. By my calculation, every month, he gets about 9,000 Ghana City. That's more than a teacher's salary. That's more than a nurse. That's actually almost equal to what a professor takes. And so when you are taxing the university security officer who earns about just 800 Ghana City, the nurse or the cleaner in Kolobu mm. who earns just about 700 Ghana City, and you impose income tax on him, and then you have people doing business like barber, hairdressers, mechanics who are not in the bush. They are right in the community. They've been there for 10 years, 20 years. And you cannot raise, they are earning as much as 9,000 a month, 20,000 a month. Some of them count a lot, of, about a million Ghana City in a week. Economist at ESA, Professor Charles Aka. The Public Utilities Regulatory Commission says it is expecting a stable economy to ensure a reduction in tariff during the last quarter of this year. According to the Executive Secretary of the Commission, Dr. Ishmael Aka, an improved exchange rate and a reduced inflation will lessen the burden on households and industries. Mr. Aka spoke on PM Express. If the exchange rate, let's say, increased by, I mean, the change is about 10%. But at the same time, we have more hydro. And normally, historically, to the last quarter, we get more hydro. Then, let's say, inflation does not change. But gas price also remain the same. And it could be what we are getting from hydro, if it's too much, can help again moderate. So, yes, exchange rate is the most significant. But the changes in the other factors can moderate uh, whatever increase or decrease the exchange rate may bring. So, uh, what we don't know, and that is done by Statistical Service and Bank of Ghana, is inflation and exchange rate. And I hope that it stabilizes or it doesn't change. 
As government takes prudent steps to improve technical and vocational education, some private institutions and civil society organizations have resolved to support the efforts. Group Head of Strategy and Marketing at Alliance Life, Na Adoli Avevo, has reiterated the company's commitment to help the youth in TVET to create jobs. She spoke at the TVET event organized by Vision Spring and Alliance Life in Accra. And this particular project is supporting SDG 8, you know, people with disabilities, and you want to really impact the youth. So really it's the youth, and who has the youth on TVET? You want youth that are, have the skills that are going out there to work as well. So help them, they already have the skills, but what can they do with the skills if they cannot see? So help them see and put the skills that they've acquired through TVET to use. That is the end of the Joy Business Report. Please stay tuned for Joy Business Van after this break. Cargo handling can be so tiring. Eh, having to shuffle between banks to make payments. And waiting hours for payment confirmation. And worst of all, incurring avoidable costs due to payment delays. Charlie. But with Ecobank, making cargo payments has become super convenient through their digital self-service and in-branch channels. Sell smoothly with Ecobank and experience our one-stop payment solutions for all your cargo-related payments. Pay your customs duties and all levies, terminal handling and shipping line fees. And enjoy smart financing solutions to support your cargo handling operations. Contact us on 0800 0800 0-0-3-2-2-5, or walk into the nearest Ecobank branch to find out more. Echo Bank, the Pan African Bank. Welcome back to Joy Business Van, brought to you by EcoBank, the Pan African Bank, and MTN Business. What are we doing today? The Annie market has seen significant growth in recent years, with consumers becoming increasingly interested in natural and healthy sweetness. As a result, there has been an increase in the production of honey by both small scale and commercial beekeepers. However, this growth has also led to concerns over the quality and authenticity of some honey products on the market. The Joy Business Van is at JA24 Foods Limited, owned by Judith Akos Atama, which is fast becoming a major supplier of quality honey across the country. After school, Judith Akos Atama decided to start her own business. She was introduced to bee farming and honey production. Judith decided to take it up and today she's chief executive of a very thriving business which supplies honey to over 600 outlets across Ghana. From No Beehive, Judith currently owns 200 of them. Uh, beekeeping is a, a very interesting kind of farming and um, it doesn't require so much attention, so much land, like um, some kinds of farming. So if you um, are interested in, interested in beekeeping, you get a hive. The box that we usually see is called a beehive. You get it, you get trained because uh, training is very vital for you to get the yield that is needed for you to grow the business. And so once the training is done and you have your hives, you have your protective garments and you have a space, preferably um, a place that is a forest area or has a lot of um, plants that can flower because that's the main source of food for the bees and that's what translates into the honey. Judith's collection of beehives are in the Volta and Oti regions. Once a hive is set, um, on the average, we harvest two times in a year. Uh, the peak season is usually in the dry season, December to March. And then around this time, so some people get to harvest. Um, there are improved ways of harvesting as compared to what we were known or we had seen people of the old do, such that you don't destroy the honey or use smoke. So we don't use smoke. You can still harvest without smoke. 
you just have to know when to harvest, what time of the day to harvest so that the bees don't attack you and then you, you, are, you, are, you are able to harvest perfectly. Judith can harvest 15 liters of honey from one hive. So when the raw honey arrives, it usually arrives with bees in it, bee combs and all. So we sieve it with a very fine sieve to allow for the honey to pass through slowly and then we leave it to settle. We leave it to settle for a day or two and then we start feeling. We feel, we cap or we cover, we label and then we box ready for the uh, retail shops. Honey produced by GA24 Foods is purely organic with no additives. The quality of the products has earned trust among consumers, expanding her customer base. Because of the adulteration that's on the market, a lot of people have doubts for honey. So um, our consistency allowed us to build, so people try out the products in the shop. So we deal mainly with the retail shops. Currently, J24 produces between 8,000 and 10,000 bottles of honey a month for distribution on the local market. For our farms, the main challenge is tree falling or tree felling and bushfire. So um, the dry season, people set fires and you can easily lose your hives. And also the tree falling. Because the bees depend on the nectar to produce the honey, if the area is not having enough uh, flowering plants, so you will not get enough um, yield that particular season. That's why J24 Foods has hives scattered across two different regions in case of such incidents. The business has created employment for several youth, some of whom assist with the bee farming, work in the production facility, and others who are sales agents. Judith has recently ventured into the production of coconut oil, palm oil, and hibiscus tea. We want to reach every part of this country. That is the goal. Every possible town, because honey is um, a healthy food, anybody and everybody can use it. The global honey market size was valued at $8.1 billion in 2021. The market is expected to grow from $8.5 billion in 2022 to $12.69 billion by 2029. Market watchers say rising demand for organic and healthy alternatives to sugar will propel growth. GA24 Foods hopes to take advantage of this growing market. So we are looking more in what we, uh, we, we are trying Nigeria, we we are working with some people outside um, outside uh, the West African region as well to see how best we can get the products to them. Meantime, Judith continues to enjoy sweet success. You can watch the Joy Business Van on the Joy News Channel at 5 p.m. on Business Live. The Ecobank Salary Account is a special account designed for workers of all income brackets desirous of receiving their salaries through Ecobank. With the Ecobank Salary Account, you are guaranteed all the benefits of a normal savings or current account, plus many more. Ecobank Salary Account gives workers free life insurance cover of up to 10,000 Ghana cities, a 24-7 access to cash and e-banking services, internet and mobile banking services, high interest on savings, no minimum balance, ability to save through the Ecobank Save As You Spend, a unique feature that helps customers to save and invest. Remember, the insurance policy covers death, permanent or temporary disability, critical illness, hospitalization, retrenchment and more. Savings or current account holders at Ecobank do not have to close their existing accounts to enjoy the numerous benefits of Ecobank's salary account. Just ask your branch to switch your existing account to the Ecobank salary account. Non-Ecobank account holders should approach any Ecobank branch and ask for the Ecobank salary account. Switch your salary account today and enjoy amazing benefits on Ecobank. Call Ecobank toll free on 0800-003225 whenever, wherever, for further details. Ecobank, the Pan-African Bank. Do enjoy. My name is Eli Kim Akukunbe.